Baseball at its best. Athletics on the road as Oakland goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. An afternoon at U.S. Cellular Field with the fans ready to rock and roll. A look at Mark Burley. He'll be doing his best to get a W on the mound tonight. 2K Sports presents Major League Baseball Sunday afternoon. Dave, what do you think the strategy is going to be today as he goes against Oakland? Well, a little mismatch in this one right here. One of the best lefties in the game against the lineup that does struggle at times to score runs. So it could be a lopsided ball game. Courtesy of Pepsi. We'll see how Bob Guerin's lineup looks. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Mark Ellis is a guy that this team is going to be looking for some production today. He's been inconsistent throughout his career. Let's see if he can put something together and help his team get a win in this one. What do you Rajai Davis leading us off. Oakland coming in a loss in their last game. This is the uh, last matchup of the three game set. They've dropped the first two against the White Sox. And Burley gets it by called strike and the count will go to 0 and 1. That game it simply got away from them. Embarrassing on those. It is embarrassing and, and whether you get beat by little or a lot it's still only one loss. Move ahead. He delivers. Davis making contact, but he fouled that one away. You're and the cut fastball is in there. Strike three, one away. It's the best pitch in baseball. The fastball down okay. and away. If you can master that, you can be successful. He's successful. And Coco Crisp to that. He's hit 378 lifetime against Mike Burley. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Swings and grounds oh. this one foul wide of third. Swung on, line softly towards center, and that'll put Chris on at first. Now, now a quick look for this Oakland game of the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Uh, Steve, a factor for them? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Suzuki's in the box. One out, man on first. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this. Swing and a hot shot, and that'll put Suzuki on first. Now batting for the Oakland They Athletic. tried to go down with that 0 1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind him in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. It's cussed at the plate. Jerry with crisp on base. He's a threat to run. They better keep an eye on him. Burley with a delivery. Swing and a line into right center. Streak continues. That gets in. And crisp scores. Here comes crisp for the plate. And Suzuki scores as well. He'll pull into third. That's a two RBI three bagger. Pepsi brings us a look at the win expectation change for those two RBIs. Well, he gets a letter high pitch, a good pitch to hit, and he takes advantage of it. Nice job. Hitting from behind is not an easy thing to do in this game, but a little easier when the pitch is up there. Uh, you throw it over the plate like that, it's going to cost you. That's down. Runner could come home. Now batting. For the, well, the pitcher's got to be thinking to himself, what do I have to do to get an out? That's now four straight hits he's given up. Kennedy at the plate. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Okay, it's still early in this game. There's a chance this could get out of reach 
even before we get out of the city. Got a classic here. Maybe one of these stop the bleeding scenarios going on. And they've taken a time out here. They're going to go to the mound, have a little chat. Well, they're not quite sure if they're going to take him out just yet. You have to figure they're going to at least discuss how he feels and what they're going to do. And Burley gets it by. Called strike of the count will go to 0-1. Well, classic stop the bleeding, but not classic pitching so far. This offense taking advantage of the opportunity. Headed for the middle. It's gobbled up. The second, there's one. Back to first, not in time. One and two won't get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Pennington's in the batter's box. He's hitting 333 lifetime off the White Sox. Line drive. That's foul towards first. Oh, and one. Burley kicks and delivers. Good movement to that cutter, and he's in the hole now, 0 and 2. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Behind third, and there's Tian for the third out. They got a nice head start right there. The offense early. The A's on top, three to nothing. Going to be Trevor Cahill on the mound. He's starting for over And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Well, Trevor Cahill, six foot three, 195 pound right hander out on the mound right now. And the guy that's going to have to learn to throw more strikes. Too many base on balls in the past has provided too many hitters' counts that made him vulnerable to the home run. He needs to get strike one. Swing and a ball hit very high, soaring straight away left field. Goodbye, home run. They wish that homer had been chased in a couple more. They'll take it, though, only down two. Well, that was a no-brainer right there. We knew it was gone as soon as it left the back. Steve, when you're in left field, you don't even bother to turn around. You don't want to see it around. Oh, Gary, they need to continue to score, but already the White Sox have some momentum. Swung on, hit. And that's a base hit. Ramirez on board with the single. Lineup for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. Now, Paul Canerco batting with a runner on first while leading the league in home runs. Here's the delivery. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0-1. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Tried to get him to follow the sinker, but it's 1-2. Hoping to try to continue some momentum off of his last game when he picked up three base hits. See if he can't keep it going. A line drive towards the hole. Now we'll take a quick look at the A's, how they're taking the field defensively. Any scouting pick, Steve? Well, Ryan Sweeney's a guy that shows real leadership in the outfield. He can run balls down in the gap. He's just consistent, always getting a good read and making the routine play. So Carlos Quinton comes up here with two runners on. He's the league leader in hits. Grounded a short. There's one. And two. They got both of them that time. Now State Farm brings you the leaderboard for the highest on base percentage in the league. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners. And these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do to get on base and lead to a run scored. And Beckham's in the box. In his career, six for 15 off the eighth. And it's up against the wall. And Ramirez is home. He's heading for third. He'll throw. 
And he is safe at third ahead of that play. Now batting. This one comes in from right field. This is the longest throw on the diamond, and he almost got it. Well, when he hit it into right field, he made a decision himself that he could go free. He went hard around first, turned up into second gear, and cruises into third base. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. He clearly had a shot at hitting for the cycle last time out. Got the triple, which is the toughest. Hit the ball out of the ballpark for a home run. Got a single, but just lacked the double. Couldn't get it done. Trevor Cahill comes off the mound. So far, giving up one home run in this game. And the Athletics coming up next. It's going to be Barton. Burley with a delivery. Oh, uh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. Now the 1 0 pitch. And that's off the plate inside, and it's 2 0. That fastball is in for a strike. 2 and 1. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Strike Lays two. off that time, but it's in there. A knee high strike evens things at two. Oh. Slider down at the shoe tops as he dances away. Well, you have to have quick reflexes at the plate. The hitter getting out of the way there showed his reflexes. Oh. And that puts the leadoff man on ball four. That's not how he wanted to start this inning, Gary. He's going to be pitching a world of trouble if he can't find his control. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at bat ends in a walk? Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. Here's the pitch. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Ryan Sweeney now time to cut that swing back. Uh, coming into this game, he's got to have some confidence because he picked up two hits last time out. So got to be seeing the ball pretty well. Line shot into center field. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. Fantastic chance here. So let's take a look at the Central Division race now. The trade deadline has passed here on the State Farm Standings Board. First place, the White Sox. In the second spot, the Twins. Third, the Royals. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. In the tough AL Central, we all thought the White Sox would finish down on the pack, but instead, they're sitting on top and making us all look silly. Davis into the batter's box. He's got the best average in the division. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. Mark Burley gets that important strike, 0-2. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste a pitch. They're way ahead right now. You're Swing out. and a miss. That's a changeup. Down on strikes one out. Gary, he delivers a changeup on this one. This pitch is going top shelf and he tries to chase it. You got to give the pitcher credit for just putting one past him there. Yeah, usually uh, that one is going to be sent somewhere. Fair play, but not that time. He got him. Here's Chris. First look. Nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. A 1 0 now. Oh, no bend on that bender, and it's 2 0. Pitch on the way. Well hit towards the middle. Up with it now. And there's one. On to first. Safe. Can't get the back end of that one. He's got a shot to get out of this now. Big time out. Now he's got two down. He's only one out away from working out of this jam. First pitch on the way. On the ground to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They pick up no runs on a hit. And they leave two on. Athletics three. White Sox two. Brzezinski 
One of the best Catch batting averages in the 12, league. AJ Krasinski. Hit hard on the ground to short. One away. We get a break in the action. Let's take a moment to check out our State Farm leaderboard and team slugging percentage. The White Sox number one. The Red Sox in second. Third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Jays. And we've got the Twins who are number five. Now, Gary, this club can slug like nobody else can in the game today. They go up there swinging out of their shoes trying to drive the ball, and it's paid dividends. And here's Martian. Right there in the top five in home runs. And that'll put Tian on first. So Jim Tomey coming up. What a year for him. Top five in home runs. Jim Tomey. One down, runner at first. Bounce him off with one in there for a strike. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. He delivers. This ball is hammered deep right. Two away. State Farm brings you the RBI leaders for the past 10 games. All of these guys have one thing in common. With the game on the line with runners on base, they come through in the clutch and deliver and drive in the big run. Runner on first now for Johnny Damon. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored, top five. First pitch on the way to Damon. Sinker swung on, missed on one. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. And you know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. Catcher can't control it. Strike three, but a chance at first. He gets the throw down to first base, and they'll get the out. That's a great play there by the catcher. When the pitcher throws one in the dirt like that, he's really hoping the catcher will block it, keep it in front, and be able to get the out at first. Kind of plays that can change the momentum of a game if you don't get that out. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Athletics holding on to the lead. Heart of the order due to bat next. Clear skies and U.S. Sailor Field on the menu for this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Jack Cust. It's Cust at the plate. He tripled home a couple in his last at bat. Well, big production in this ball game. Already driving in a couple runs and a major factor in this offense. First pitch. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. Well, this broke a little bit too much out of the zone right here for a ball, but he's got to bring it back in. Rain that thing in a little bit. Strike Called strike on the outside corner to 21. I don't think he liked that call very much, but the reality is he couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Ball and that's two. taken outside for a ball, two, one strike count. Two one pitch and bullet taken for a call strike two. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. You're out. And that one swung on it, missed by Jack Cuss. This pitch has a little life to it at 84 on the gun. It's a pretty good movement. This is a tough pitch to handle, but he takes the swings anyway. And Johnny had to do that, right? Well, it would have been a strike regardless, but sometimes you got to make the pitcher work a little bit harder out there for the good of the team. The first pitch. And the strike really catches him looking. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Hit on the ground over the shortstop. Fielded by Ramirez. Retiring Ellis. Let's take a chance here right now to see where the Athletics sit in the American League. He was first in triples, third in walks, and a pitching staff that has power stuff that can hit their spots Showing they can get it done. Top five ranking in strikeouts. Power arms on this staff. First pitch on the way. 
Oh, nope, that one not in there. Burley misses. Ball Low two. for a ball, 2-0. Oh. Right. And he swings right through that one. Two and one. One pitch is a change up taken for called strike two. Well, this is a pitch that should be clobbered, but he just couldn't pull the trigger on. It. Here it comes. There's a swing and a liner towards first, and that's going to do it. Canerco's there. So Mike Burley gets him one, two, three, and a good start intact. Three runs over three works so far, and it'll be the White Sox. Two hole to get things started next. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. Right now, his team trailing by a run, figuring out the necessary pieces of the puzzle to get this thing at least tied up. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swings and misses, the sinker, 0 and 1. Lifetime going 2 for 8 against Cahill. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Hit one out of the ballpark last time out. Look for him to have some momentum coming into this game now. Feeling good about himself. One bounce onto the wall. And he'll stop at second base. And it will be a double. Statistics say that the 0-2 count by far is an advantage for the pitcher. But in this situation, he fought off a tough pitch and slapped the base hit. Great job on that at bat. And here's Paul Canerco. He's the league leader in ribbies. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. And Suzuki setting his target. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. And Paul Canerco strikes out, could not make contact. On a quick strikeout right there, keeps this game close in the early going. Boy, that one went by in a hurry. That was one, two, three, sending back. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Runner on second, RBI opportunity for Carlos Quinton. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Swings and misses, the sinker, 0 and 1. Just a solid offensive player, day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. Ball. Sinker misses, and it's one and two now. Now, if you didn't get a chance to see his last game, he picked up a couple of RBIs in that one. Swing of the bat. You're Big out. swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swinging. Well, at 92 miles per hour, you can Number get away 15. with some mistakes, but it would be Jordan. nice to have some movement. We see him go after the inside part of the plate here. Boy, he really did. He just bombarded the inside after the plate. Well, as a hitter, you just have to get your timing down a little bit better. And he certainly didn't have it there. Strike He's one. wishing he laid off that one. A strike and a pitch in the dirt. Hard grounded a short. Pennington throws on to first in time to retire the side. Very quiet offense again in the inning against Trevor Cahill. And he's been effective since giving up two runs in the first. Third inning baseball complete. On to the fourth inning. Pennington's in the batter's box. Shortstop, number 26, Cliff Pennington. The pitch. A shot up the middle. Back I'm able to pull that one. Now into August. Let's look at the White Sox. The series with Oakland concluding today. We'll get on the road tomorrow. They take a road trip to face a team they beat in the previous series between the two. The Tigers hosting that one. It'll be a three game series. And there's another stop on the road trip. The Orioles hosting that one. Quite a bit of time away from home for for them over these next several games. One out, nobody on. Swung on and a grounded to first. 
And he steps on first. That's the second up. Right field flashes some leather over there at first base. Did a nice job getting the runner himself. Base is empty with two up. Now the first pitch. Ball! Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. Doesn't get there in time. He is on. Take a look at the teams leading the way with fewest walks allowed. Courtesy of State Farm. The White Sox number one. The Royals second. Third, the Mariners. Rangers fourth. And it's the Yankees number five. There's a swing towards the hole. And there's Tian for the third out. Mark Burley, that's another good inning. And it'll be the White Sox. Looking ahead, six, seven, eight, they're due up. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crutt bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. And he starts Rios out. Couldn't get around in time, 0-1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just the quality approach at the plate, day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Takes a swipe on that pitch in the dirt. Not sure if he saw that. Oh, Tried to get him to follow the sinker, but it's one and two. That one swung on its line. Ellis able to pull that one in. State Farm takes a look at the highest batting average over the last 10 games. All of these guys, quality contact hitters. And, you know, when you're that kind of a hitter, it means that you can hit any kind of pitch the pitcher throws, and you're using the whole field. You're hitting it where it's pitched. One out, nobody on. First pitch, here it comes. That ball is swung on and hit a long way deep into right center field. Gone! Goodbye home run! And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Another home run right there. That's two now. So really this, this lineup looking like they're getting very comfortable. Now credit the White Sox offense attacking, trying to do what they can to bring this thing back, evening it up. Tie game now. Let's see if they can't add on some more runs here. Here's the pitch. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And this could be extra bases heading towards the corner. And a brief look at who's leading the league in home runs courtesy of State Farm. Well, this is a list of hitters that strikes fear in the opposition pitching. They have to because they know with one swing of the bat, they can change the score of the game. And he's in at second with a double, one out. Here's a chance to capitalize RBI for Jim Tomey. Lifetime, he's got a uh, 285 average off Oakland. Right. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Now, if you got a chance to watch the last ball game, you saw the quality at bat he had. A runner on base, he worked the count, got a pitch he could hit, and hit the ball out of the Straight ballpark. Two. Good piece of hitting, and maybe the start of things to come. Ball. That one's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. The one two on its way and he leaves that pitch alone Jim Tomei with patience evens the count. Wow he had some good bite on that one right there but the hitter wouldn't chase it. Here's the pitch. He can't connect on that Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. You got a second now to see the four seed fastball in KK. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI in the top ten and hits. First pitch on the way to Damon. 
Fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. He's getting it done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to count on. Here's the pitch. Strike two. No balls. Two strikes. Veteran Damon, though. He'll cut it down and try to just poke it out there. Hit one out of the ballpark last time out. Solo home run. And look for him to have some momentum coming into this game now. Feeling good about himself. Damon will foul that one away. Hit up the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. That will bring up the big bat in a big moment. Alexei Ramirez. Number 10. He takes this one two pitch down in the zone. He's able to go down and get it. Get a good part of the bat on the ball and pick up the base hit. That's a tough pitch to hit when you're behind in the count. You just want contact, and he got it. And doing the pitching, it'll be Craig Breslow. They've decided it was time to make a change here. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This one fielded. Davis. That'll do it as they put that one away. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. Crisp is batting. One for two in the ball game. Fielder number three, Coco Crisp. Here's the first pitch. Swing soft liner towards right center. Gets down. The go ahead runs on base. So Kurt Suzuki will come up. Here are the teams leading the way in swipes found on our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the Angels. Rays in second. Royals held the third spot. A's fourth. And we've got the Rangers. They are fifth. Well, this is a pitcher's nightmare when you face a team like this. They have so many guys on this ball club that can steal bases. But you're a pitcher and you're facing these guys. Every one of them that gets on base, you know you have to concern yourself with them. But you also have to not give up some of your command at the home plate. Because if you let up, they'll burn you with the long ball. That's what makes this team so tough and so difficult to deal with. It's taken for a ball. Bottom dropping out on that burly pitch. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. And Kurt Suzuki watches that one go by. That'll even up the count. He deals. Ball Tough three. pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3 2. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the play. Good eye by the hitter. And got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Number 30. A good pitch right at the knees there. He swung right over the top of it and just couldn't put it in play. Runner at first with one down. Here's the first pitch to Cusk. And Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Strike two. Mike Burley gets that important strike, 0 and 2. One Trying to get two. him to chase a slider, but it's 1 and 2. And it's fouled off. You're out. And that one swung on and missed by Jack. Credit the pitcher right there. Good two strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that even if he had made contact. Gary with Chris Bond base. He's a threat to run. They better keep an eye on him. We'll see Canerco holding him in there. And Ellis settles in first pitch. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. Yeah, Oakland in a play. nice position here to capitalize. It's the little things that come into play. What I like is the great secondary lead that allowed him to go first to third. Now they've got a chance to score two on a double. Sliders in there for a called strike. Mark 
Burling gets that important strike on two. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pick. Still on two. That one's lined softly towards the gap left center. And that's in there. The A's will score. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. A productive hit right there. See the impact on our Pepsi WPA graph. Pennington's in the batter's box. Well, you always hope you can get this offense going late in the ball game. They have, and they've got a lead. You know, Gary, that at bat we just saw could prove to be the most critical at bat in this. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. He'll throw on the first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. Oakland taking the lead, putting the pressure on. And you're looking at Bob Guerin. Got what he needed out of his lineup that last time through. This lead now something he can try to protect if he can get some solid pitching. And Paul Canerco to bat. He leads the American League and runs batted in. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. The numbers over his career 256 against the A's. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And this rolls all the way to the wall. He's in there at second base. Still no one away. RBI opportunity right here for Carlos Quinn. Leading the MLB in batting average. Base runner at second with nobody out. First pitch to Quinton. Good pitch that time, and it's on one. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter. He's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And here's the first one. There's the circle change. Too low. One and oh. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And Chris hit come. The Narcos heading for third. The throw. We hope you'll tune in this Tuesday. We'll see Brian McCann and the Atlanta Braves will be playing host to the visiting New York Mets. Start time, 7 o'clock. Looking forward to that one, Gary. That's going to be some kind of ball game to tune into. Runner standing at third. Here's Alex Rios. He's a big Home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. Well, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. I don't think he's going to waste any time right now. He's just going to go right at him with that 0-2 pitch. Throws to first in time. That's three down. They get a man to third, but can't bring him home. Athletics holding on to the lead. for two lifetime against Mike Burley. And the first pitch. That one goes foul. Off speed pitch is in there and he falls behind 0-2. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Burley with a delivery. Big swing. Misses on the changeup. Struck him out of the way. He pulled the string right there. Must have been looking for the fastball. Swings right through the changeup for strike three. One out. Bases empty. And here's the first one. First pitch, fastball, 0 1. 
Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Good decision. Strike two. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Ryan Sweeney now. Time to cut that swing back. Oh. That one fouled off by Sweeney. Strike three swung on by Ryan Sweeney. No luck. K Cam's going to give us a good look at the cutter. A breaking ball right there gets him to swing. You can see that back leg kind of jelly bitten a little bit. He really used the off speed pitches during that at bat to get it over with. Davis into the batter's box. He's the top 10 in stolen bases for the league. Lined hard down the left field line. And that's a base hit. Davis on board. That'll bring Coco Chris to the plate. I go you take a look at the legs on this guy. He can fly. He really impacts the game with the speed. But I've got to keep an eye on Davis over there because he can run. Here's Chris. First look on the ground to second. Back up. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. No runs. One hit. And no one left on base. Athletics four. The White Sox three. There's a familiar face, Isaac Gian looking up. He knows his guys are still in this game. That tying run becoming ever so critical, though. Leading it off, A.J. Krasinski. He homered earlier in the ballgame. The pitch. Right First one. pitch, a slider for a called strike. Well, looking for a bounce back performance today. Some disappointment after last game, striking out twice. This is in the air, straight away left. And Davis pulls it in. One away. And here's Martin. And one of the top ten averages right now. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, he's getting the job done this year. No question about it. Such production. So consistent. Fouled off. <laughs> that ball is belted. Deep left center. That ball is way back there. And they're happy to tie that one up. Back to an even ball game with that solo shot. That solo shot, that has an impact on the chances of winning. And it shows up right here on our Pepsi WPA graph. Well, he looked like he got the pitch in his wheelhouse and he just drove it out of the ballpark. When you get behind in a ball game, you want to get back early, get your get your mental set back, and they've done that. Now this inning isn't it's over yet. They have a chance to still tackle on some more runs. Very really important for the Sox right there to tie this up. Now if Chicago can get a big hit, they've got a chance to take the lead. Head up the middle. Tell hey, you what, Steve, that really was a great fielder. play and well worth Number another look. Well, so many good Johnny things going on Gale. right there. Well executed play. It's Damon at the plate. He's got one of the best averages in the American League. Two outs and nobody on. Here's the pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. On the way. Swung on and hit. This one to Crisp. Sweeney's there. That's caught. Side is retired. So they pick up a run on the home run and pull even. We've got a stalemate going here in Chicago. Leading it off, Kurt Suzuki. Trying again here, just one for three thus far. Kurt Suzuki. And the first pitch. 
Ground ball to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that sets down Suzuki. Here's how the standings look in the West now that we've passed the trading deadline. Courtesy of State Farm, the Mariners first place. Second place, the Angels. A's third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. A decent play from the Oakland Athletics so far this year. About where we expected them to be. And, you know, in the heart of that division, but certainly not at the top just yet. Here's the first pitch to Cusk. Swung on, line to right field. And that is in there, the go-ahead run on base. Well, this is a now guy that usually struggles with pitches in and around the knees, but he was able to just drop the bat head on it, got a good piece of wood on it, a quality big league at bat. And Ellis settles in, first pitch. Strike one! And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. And you can hit your spot with that. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it's going to be Quentin. And he gets over and grabs it with the left. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average. And they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're patient. They let the ball come to them, and then they deliver. Oh, won the count right now after he fouled off that first one. Laced foul to the right side. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. Burley with a delivery. On the ground to third. Tian. Throws the first side is retired. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. We're still tied here in Chicago. Batters two through four coming right up. There's Bob Guerin, the manager. And you can feel the hunger building up right now. First and foremost on his mind is getting out of this tie game and getting a lead. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. And Ramirez settles in first pitch. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0 and 1. That change up away is one of the most effective pitches because when the hitter's fooled, he starts to pull off the ball. He can only hit an inside pitch. He can't possibly reach the outside pitch unless he breaks down his swing. Now up to the plate. Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as cake. Panerko at the plate. He doubled in his last turn. One out, nobody on. Here's the delivery. Oh, reaches out for that one. He's behind on the count, 0-1. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. Oh, strike two, no balls, and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. Here's a swing and a ball hit high into the air, deep into right field. Goodbye, home run. And a solo home run that breaks the tie. Big clutch homer. The graph that shows us the impact of that solo home run. Our Pepsi WPA graph. Anytime you give the team a lead late in the game, it's going to make the manager very happy. You think that's what it's all about? Making the manager happy. Well, sometimes right. making the general manager happy is more important. His name's on the check. <laughs> now, Gary White Sox couldn't be. Covers this ball. A soaring drive deep left center field. Out of here. Goodbye, home run. They'll take that one run homer. They need that. Now the lead is two. Well, back to back shots right there. And certainly the offense coming to life, Gary. Well, this pitcher's got to figure this out or he's going to be gone in a hurry. Now they got to get somebody warm. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. And Steve, uh, late in the ball game, you really pounce on an opponent when you get a big time home run like that, the chance to put it away. And now pitching going to be critical. Can they shut down this offense? And can you get back out there with your pitcher and shut them down to win the game? Here's the pitch. Swing and a long high. 
drive deep into right center field. Go on, that's a dinger. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. Andrew Bailey's going to be pitching. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. Now we get a chance to watch the American League rookie of the year from 2009, Andrew Bailey, in some kind of year he... There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And Davis pulls it in. The athletic schedule, let's take a look. They wrap up the Chicago series today. They'll look to tip the balance against a team looks pretty good, pretty even against them on paper. The Kansas City Royals, that's a three-game series. After that, it's about defending home field. They go against the Rangers and their hitting star Michael Young. Boy, there's some great competition in that set of games. Lots of home games, that's always a good thing. Two outs, bases empty. And the first pitch. Swing and a miss. Good pitch from Bailey. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. And that's a strike. A.J. Przenski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Strike three. Wow. That'll do it for the inning, but not before. A lot of runs cross. But they strike for three runs here, all coming thanks to three solo homers. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Pennington's in the batter's box. Shortstop. Number 26, Cliff Pennington. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and, one. and Burley gets it by, called strike, and the count will go to 0 and 1. Obviously, getting late right now, Gary, and I think that from the pitching perspective. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. He's and that's there. in plenty of time for the other. It's going to be Barton. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Nobody on base, one away. And here's the first one. Way out there with the curveball, 1-0. Well, trailing right now, down three runs. You got one out here in the eighth. You got five outs left is the way you have to look at it. They need base runners. Get people on and hope somebody runs into one. A three-run deficit, not too much to overcome. The 1-1 pitch. Ah, good moving cutter, and it's one and two now. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement, down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. Ground ball towards second. Beckham. He's out okay. number two. For the Oakland Athletics. Right fielder, number 16. It's going to be Sweeney. Two for three thus far. First pitch on the way. Big swing there, but he can't connect, and it's a strike. Now, listen, this is still doable from the offensive perspective, Gary. They're only down three. It would be nice to have a little two-out rally right here, pick up some runs, narrow this three-run deficit. But understand, you can still come back and finish it tonight. Just don't wait till the night. Started to go around. That pitch is in there anyway. 0-2. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. Throws on to first side is retired. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. White Sox 7, Athletics 4. Leadoff batter will get a shot at it later on in this inning. And here's Mark Tian leading it off. He went deep in his last time up. Number 25, Mark Tian. First one to Tian. Here's the pitch. Good pitch from Bailey. Swung on and missed. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. It's off the wall and a hop. There's the throw. He makes it to second base. Now back. 
the big Oh, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. Now Jim Tomey. No one out and a runner on second. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. There's a swing. A ball hit high, deep, straight away left field. The lead is five thanks to that two run shot. They went with a four seam fastball right there and he threw it right in the hot zone for the hitter. And he took him deep. That was a mistake. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18, Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0 and 1. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of it? Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And it gets down. That's hit number three on the ball game and five at bats. Now back for the Chicago White Clearly, he's starting to wear down out there. Number three straight hits against him. He doesn't have the velocity or the bite on his pitches that he had earlier in the game. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. Career numbers, a 317 average off the eighth. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. Fantastic chance here. RBI chance goes to Paul Canerco. Three for four thus far. Two men in scoring position, still no one out. Here's the delivery. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. They went for the backdoor slider right there, but he laid off the pitch. Good eye. A 1 1 pitch, and he watches that curve for strike two. And Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. Well, he knew exactly what he was doing, throwing it that far in on the plate, back in the hitter yeah. off. Now he's set up to go away again. Down on strikes there. Nice number piece of pitching. He just overpowers it with a fastball up and away right there. He didn't even think about swinging. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. Play time, a 222 average against the eight. Off the wall on a hop. And Damon comes in. And Ramirez scores two. And he's aboard. And got there with a two run single. Number 15, Jordan Beckham. Well, you win a game and you have four hits. You contributed mightily to that success. And look what's happening here. He's getting them started again. And the first pitch. Swung on and missed on one. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. He gets two quick strikes on the hitter, but he can't be too selective now. He's got to go right out. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at bats. You get it done in a hurry. The pitch. Now swing and a shot towards second. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. Davis into the batter's box. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. Burley with a delivery. Swings lines this one back up the middle. 
And that's a base hit. Davis on board. I mean the bat. That'll bring Coco Crisp, Crisp to the plate. Here are some of the hottest pitching staffs in baseball, courtesy of State Farm. Lowest opponent batting average this month. Number one, the Angels. Second, the A's. Blue Jays third. The Indians fourth. And the Mariners fifth. Wow. You look at those low opponent batting averages, and it really points to the fact how tough these teams are to hit against. Very difficult. They just seem to find ways to make pitches to keep the ball off the good part of the bat of the hitter. Mike Burley gets that important strike on two. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to drill towards third. And Tian with a catch. And he'll have to hold at first. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground. And, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining. So they've got to get something going and keep it going. Ball one. And there's ball one. Well, if he's going to make a mistake, which he hasn't made many in this game, it's going to be now. His pitch count's over. A, a line drive towards short. Over to second for one. And the deuce of the play. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. A dominating performance, Gary. And we come to that point of our broadcast where we honor the Pepsi Clutch performer. Our fantastic display by Mark Burley got it done today. Well, any starting pitcher will tell you that the last thing he wants to ever have to do is to turn the game over to the bullpen. They like to finish what they start, and that's exactly what he did today. He had all his pitches working, and he had complete command of the strike zone out there. He kept his lineup in check for the entire game and finished it strong. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. Thanks for being with us today. We hope you've enjoyed 2K Sports Major League Baseball. We wrap it up. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crutch, Steve Phillips, and our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you soon.